Google bed diary and I was just trying to try and remember what the date is today and I'm, I'm not sure it might be something like the 18th of April but uh, I lose track no idea what day it is either anyway I can show you our Google beds in different stages of uh, uh, finishing and here we're at the very first stage where we've only removed the turf layer and put it to one side carefully because we will be needing that later on and you see the very curvy shape and that's all about creating microclimates micro habitats with different exposure to the weather uh, different temperatures different moisture levels and so on here we're at the next stage digging it out a little bit more um, preferably the topsoil layer and in this case a little bit of the sandy loam I suppose it is underneath put that on that side because we'll be needing that as well on to the next stage the second bed where we've added uh, something which is not ideal if, if uh, you wouldn't really choose to use this but we had a lot of material come off the fruit trees mostly apple trees possibly all apple trees but we didn't really get to see them having fruit last year because they were so overcrowded the branches and so after a bit of serious overdue pruning the uh, the very green new material branches are now the bottom layer in the hugel bed from there wood this definitely is all dead and in various stages of rot and that's exactly how we want it because as these logs and larger branches rot they will hold moisture very well suck it up when it's wet outside and then even during very long dry spells uh, they will slowly release that moisture back into the surrounding bed and keep the plants watered for well in theory weeks maybe months even that might be a bit over enthusiastic but we'll see how that works that's the theory anyway uh, in between the logs here some kitchen scraps some horse no sorry cow manure from a neighboring cow cattle farmer and that nitrogen rich material will help uh, starting to break down the carbon rich material namely the wood and the worms in the uh, manure naturally are going to be very beneficial as well next stage here the very thin sticks are raspberry canes from our raspberry patch just in front of the red shed there and they were very overcrowded so we have a lot of dead old raspberry canes which will probably be enough to cover the whole two beds uh, this fine material but still woody will rot down quite a bit quicker than the big logs and uh, Basically what you get is from surface to core of the hugel bed uh, materials which will rot down at various speeds. Uh, so from the very beginning you would have uh, materials releasing nutrients for the plants, the vegetables and the fruits that you will plant here. On top of the raspberry canes is the turf layer. Topsy-turfy, upside down. And on top of that, but I'm not quite there yet, will go the uh, the top soil and a little bit of sand layer. So that will go on top of this. Then I've put this here already, came out of the duck shed. Uh, that will go on top of the top soil uh, as a deep layer of mulch. And then we have a few compost piles which are working uh, they are slowly turning into compost and we'll use that to plant the seeds and the seedlings into on the bed all over it a mix of vegetables and fruit bushes on top 
and this polyculture of plants will eventually sort itself out over the years this is the theory again and find its preferred niche in the hugo beds so either very sunny uh, like there the first bed i showed you the the far corner there is really a sun trap that will catch sunlight almost all of the day uh, apart maybe from in summer when uh, early in the morning the sun will be roughly there so then it will be in shade but most of the day it will catch sun and so will this curve here and on the other side of the beds so the north face that will of course be quite shady uh, but some plants do quite well there and will not be outcompeted by the sun requiring plants um, and that's where we are right now uh, over the course of the next few days weeks I will do my very best to finish this all so that the seedlings that we have waiting and the seeds that mm, sort of urgently need to be planted now can be planted all right, that's it for now.